My whole goal when I go into dashboard is I originally saw you had 2,100 leads. And the goal is to get to the ones that will have the highest potential of converting right now. Okay. 2,100 leads. We have no idea who that is. But what we do know is I don't want to sit down and call 2,100 people. Mm -hmm. So it's that process of elimination to be able to get to a workable list. Mm -hmm. The very first place that I go to is I want to see out of 2,100 leads, how many have never been spoke to. Mm -hmm. And when I pull the stage, the pipeline stage of not set, new lead, tried to contact. All okay. three of those pipeline stages tell mm -hmm. me these leads have never been spoke to. So I'm going, oh, there's 1,800. That's a lot of people. I still don't have a small enough list. My question is, are you working the pipeline when you have conversations and are you moving the leads into the appropriate we'll stages? Yeah. yeah, so yes and no. Okay. Because uh, I started calling them fairly recently. And also, I understand that when I text, the system texts the, the lead and the lead answers, it's automatically being moved to co made contact. But when I call them, since I just started calling them recently, it has been about maybe in the last month, right? I gradually I noticed that I have to move them to make contact and then it will disappear from my filter. Uh, but that's true, I know. But also a lot of those leads that I haven't talked to are, be first of all, you just pulled out all the clients, all of them, I believe. Uh, but all the leads that I actually work with are tagged as a lead. Uh, so all of them are tagged as a lead. So if you pull out the leads and then uh, they, they, there are some leads that have uh, valid numbers and uh, some leads that have not valid numbers. Mm -hmm. So if we go through the filter with the valid numbers that I actually can talk to, there will be a lot less than that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is my first place of discovery to just say, okay, wow, there's only 300 leads out of 2,100 that have actually been moved out. And that's like, okay, there's not nearly enough conversations that are happening. That That's like, hello, there's not enough conversations that are happening. So to okay. increase your ROI, we need to have more conversations and get these leads moved into the proper stages because this is where you're gonna be able to track your pipeline over time based on where are the leads getting hung up, especially if you're scaling your team to be able to identify where is the rock in the shoe? Where is mm -hmm. the problem? If you have a lot of leads and make contact and you don't hardly have any meetings set or signed agreements or showings, you're like, guys, what is going on here? Or mm -hmm. if you have a lot of set meeting, but you don't have any signed agreements, guys, what's going on here? Where is the clog in the wheel that's keeping it from going to sold? Mm -hmm. So it helps with that training ability because if all of your leads are in up here, we need to hit the phones more. We need to be having more conversations. Okay. So moving these leads. So now I'm going to break down the call filter. So obviously to your point, I only want people that do have a phone number and, or we haven't confirmed it yet. So that's going to take us down another hundred, but we still have 1,785 with a phone number that we haven't recognized now. That still pulls up, but there's. Some I would also add a filter for the source because you can see a lot of those leads he's manually added them in. Yep. Whereas if we do the source of just his lead gen leads, so we can start listening. seeing what's going on mm -hmm. here, right? It's that process of elimination. Mm -hmm. So now we can do source, and we want to say is not what spear. How do you have them in here as? I would do it is. Just do is as a. Uh, is? Yeah. Okay. Is what? Uh, Yorkregionhouse.ca. So, this one? yeah. Yeah, I do both Regionhouse? of those just in case. Both yeah. of them? Okay. 
Yeah. That's it. So that's the uh, my lead gen website. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks better already. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, and that's what our filters are for. Does it? Because three hundred seventy-eight still kind of a lot, right? So now yeah. it's like, okay, how can we get this to a workable list? Well, let's see who's been active over the last thirty days. Within the last thirty days. Yeah, you have a filter. Yeah, sixty-seven. That's even better. Now, okay. if they've been active in the last 30 days, I want to take the oldest registered lead, right? So they've the been what? The oldest registered lead. Oldest registered? Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to see the oldest lead. So they registered June 20th of 2020, and they were just active four days ago. Excellent. And now you can see that I've already reached out to them. <laughs> Yeah, so it, right, you can 25 days, 25 days, never, never, yeah. never. Oh, seven days, never, never, never. So you can sort yeah. here okay. by the date that they registered or mm -hmm. by the last contact. 